Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about how to wear jeans and give you a few tips and tricks that I know are going to be super useful for you, super easy to apply. And these tips on how to wear jeans, you can apply to whatever you already own, so there's no need to go and buy new things. However, I am going to link in the description box everything that I show you today. A few are from all seasons, so they're probably not selling the exact same things, but I will find a link of something similar that you can go and have a look. Style is a way to expressing ourselves. There's not really rules that you need to follow. These are just tips that I think are going to make your style better. But yeah, if you feel more comfortable doing something different, then that's absolutely fine. Let's start talking about the slouchy jeans. These are the kind of jeans that look more like a bubble and slouchy and bigger. And the tip that I have for you so you can wear this type of jeans and feel amazing and look super cool is to think about proportions. I am sure you have heard before about this rule where they say that if you have a belt of certain color, if it's black or if it's brown, you have to wear the shoes in the same color. It is the same concept, but we're going to translate it into proportions. In this specific case, slouchy jeans tend to be bigger and if you style it with chunky trainers and a chunky shirt, it's going to feel too big and too heavy. The same can happen if you're wearing something a little bit more fitted in the top and your slouchy jeans, but you're wearing chunky trainers. This will make your outfit look bottom heavy and you don't want that. So a good way of thinking about this rule, and I promise it's super, super easy to apply, is to balance the proportions. So in this case, the slouch jeans are going to be something bigger, a little bit more dainty and delicate in the bottom, and something in the top that is also a little bit more delicate and that will balance the outfit completely. This rule is referred as the sandwich rule and it's something that you can use in every single style of jeans or pants or tops, whatever you want, you can use it. But I think it's especially useful when wearing slouchy jeans. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot and lets me know what kind of videos I should be doing more of. The next style of jeans that we're going to talk about are the straight leg jeans. You have seen me wearing straight leg jeans for years now. I absolutely love them. And you have seen me breaking this rule a million times. So again, if there's a day that you don't feel like following a rule, it's completely fine. But anyway, here it goes. When wearing straight leg jeans, try to go for something that is, again, a little bit more delicate in the bottom. Something that will show your ankle would be ideal. So it doesn't mean that you can't wear trainers. It means that instead of going for a chunky trainer, maybe think of something more like a Stan Smith or Converse or something that will people see your ankle that will soften the look a little bit and it will balance out the straight leg. I have wore straight leg jeans with chunky trainers a million times. It's not that it looks bad, but it does feel a little bit unbalanced. And especially if you're petite and you're not too tall like me, then doing this will make you look a little bit shorter. So if you want to look longer when wearing straight leg jeans, then wear more delicate shoes. I have a second tip for these kind of jeans and is that when wearing that, try to, try to balance the top with something a little bit bigger so you can balance the volume that you have in the bottom of the jeans. It doesn't have to be something super big, it can be something like this sweater that has bigger sleeves and it's going to just balance a little bit that volume that you have in the bottom. Okay, so my next tip is for skinny jeans. How to wear skinny jeans and make your look a little bit more modern. I know that a lot of you feel more comfortable wearing skinny jeans than a slouchy jeans, but you don't want to feel outdated. Of course, it's possible to wear your skinny jeans if it makes you feel better in a way that looks a little bit more modern. So my tip for this is, again, to balance proportions. So a very common outfit used with skinny jeans was everything super fitted to the body, so something very tight in the top, 
the bottom, the skinny jeans. And again, it's not that it looks bad, it's that it looks a little bit outdated. And there is a very easy solution for this. Same as the slouch jeans, if you're wearing something super fitted like the skinny jeans, then try to balance it out with something a little bit chunkier in the bottom and in the top. That will make your outfit look way more modern and way more balanced. This is why skinny jeans look so good with riding boots and boots that are chunky in the bottom or like chunky sandals. It will give your outfit something a little bit extra instead of having everything super fitted that doesn't look as good today. The next type of jeans that I'm going to talk about are the wide leg jeans. Right now, wide leg jeans are my favorite. You have seen me wearing them quite a lot actually from a long time now, maybe a year, something like that. And I think they're super easy to dress up, super easy to dress down. They're always comfortable. They really are my favorite at the moment and they are really easy to style. When wearing wide leg jeans, try to go with shoes that are a little bit simple, but don't go too over the top. I think you are going to be able to notice when something doesn't necessarily look right with wide leg jeans. But for example, when wearing sneakers or trainers, try to go with something that is a little bit less padded and a little bit less chunky and wear trainers more like Sam Smith. Or if you want to dress up wide leg jeans, you can use pointed shoes. That's going to make your outfit look more elegant and will make you look taller. And use something a little bit daintier at the top. If you're like me and you love using a shirt with your white leg jeans, as you've seen me wear everywhere, then I suggest that you tuck in your shirt at least half of your shirt. I think that really makes a difference, but ideally tuck all the front of your shirt because that's going to make a cut in your body and it's going to give the illusion that you have a waist. This is going to make a complete difference in your outfit. And another tip I have for these jeans is to wear something a little bit more structured as your outwear, let's say your coat, and that's going to balance all the volume that you have in the bottom of your pants or you can even use a more structured or bigger um, bag. If you have learned something in this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you can find more videos like this one with tips that are easy to apply. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!